yeah, that's it. I had one of these here on top of the computer for the last 12 years, but I thought it's time for an upgrade. And the old one, and the old one on the computer uh, was about 35 years old, and I made it myself during my apprenticeship. But well, it didn't quite suit me anymore, so I thought it's time for an upgrade. Wow, this box has seen better days here. I hope it's all right. Yeah, got myself a new power supply. Well, that is small power cable. Probes. Hey. Hello, my name is Andy. That's it? Jeez. Instructions in English. That is all. Look how tiny this is. There's nothing more satisfying. Ah. Well, the old, the old power supply I made myself couldn't quite cut it anymore. It, it went only to 28 volts and I couldn't even charge a 24 volt battery until 100%. So I thought it's time for an upgrade and I went with the WEMPTEC the WEMPTEC KPS 65 DF 0 to 60 volt and 0 to 5 amps. I really wanted a power supply which reaches until 60 volts so I can really charge 48 volt batteries with it and I never had a power supply which could actually do that so we got here the voltage potentiometers a fine and a coarse and the same for the amps fine and coarse and down here we've got the on off switch and the positive and negative terminal they look really tiny but I think they will fit my banana plugs here yeah they do so that is good. See, that's an adapter I'm using with the XT60 on the other side, and they fit in here. Even they are a little bit wobbly. Not perfect, not perfect. If I cut this plastic here a little bit off, they, they would go in further. Well, the probes the power supply came with have like these U shape terminals here, these connectors. I'm not sure if they're any good. Well, we will see in a minute. Uh, well, first impression, the terminals look a bit weak here. I probably have to improve this. Interestingly, we have a constant voltage and constant current light here as well. Ah, that is interesting already. Both amp buttons are turned anti-clockwise to zero amps and you can see the constant current light is on and I cannot adjust the voltage at all. It doesn't let any current flow. So I have to turn up the amps until the constant voltage light comes on and then I can adjust the voltage. Okay, let's see if we can Oh, and that is interesting too. Let's see how high it goes. 56.25 only. Hey, what about 60? Ah, oh, come on guys. Ah, to get the 60 volt, you have to use the fine knob as well. And turn this one up all the way. Yeah, there we go. 61.5 actually. 61.5. Okay, that's fine. So, if you now turn them down to zero volts again, look at the voltage. How long it takes to taper off. There must be a big capacitor inside. Still going, five volt, four. Yeah, it's discharging a capacitor. Absolutely. Let's see how far we can increase the voltage actually just with a fine knob. So from five volts to 5.2 only 240 millivolt is the range of the fine knob okay that is not very much all right let's see if we can get 3.5 volts 
3.5 volts. I just want to confirm this again here. Yeah, 3.5 volts. 100% the same. Seems to be accurate. Okay, let's turn down the amps. And we connect our lithium iron phosphate test battery here. Polarity is correct. And now we adjust the amps. And see. 500 milliamps. I'll try to get to one amp. There you go, one amp. Just um, confirming this here again. 1.00 amps here. Huh. Shows exactly the same. And we do the same with the fine knob. And I just want to see how much I can increase the amps. Uh, come on. By 110 millivolts. I can use the fine button. This is very fine. Okay, let's increase the amps. We are still in constant current. Because we haven't reached the 3.5 volts yet. But we do now. Okay, so we are now in constant voltage. 3.5 volts. And we can see the amps are going down, tapering off. This would be a very typical case for a constant current, constant voltage charging of the battery. And as you can see, it keeps the voltage constant on 3.5 volts now. And the amps are going down very slowly. It's absorbing now at 3.5 volts. And this is probably one of the main reasons I bought this power supply to charge batteries. All kind of batteries, it doesn't matter. You just adjust the voltage and the amps and you charge everything with it. And I couldn't quite do this with the other one. It went only to 28 volts and maximum current was 2 amps. Well, this little beast here can deliver up to 300 watts. It's quite impressive for such a little device. And we can now increase the voltage to get the maximum of 5 amps here, charging current into the battery. Okay, we need to adjust the fine knob here for the amps. So this is all maximum set. So we're actually getting 61.5 volts and 5.15 amps out of the little box here. Nice. I know we can pretty much charge everything with the CKE Tech chargers as well. But, but this little guy here is just more convenient and quicker. You just plug it in and you adjust your voltage and you're good. Well, the other one we need to program and set up and connect and it's just more hassle. This one is far more convenient. Okay, this is a bit of a negative here. When you are on a higher voltage and you want to go down quickly, it, it just doesn't work. Look how long it takes to discharge this capacitor. So what you can do is you can just short the cables and then you are quickly down to the set voltage you are in. So if I want to take this down to zero, I just need to short the cables and it goes down to zero immediately. So you're discharging the capacitor very quickly. And here it comes back. That's a zombie voltage. And there we go. So just recharging an 18650 cell. I set the constant voltage to 4.2 volts which is the maximum voltage for these cells. And I'm connecting my cell and then I adjust the amps to 400 millivolt, which would be the correct charging current for a 2000 milliampere hour 18650 cell now. And I can leave it sitting there and it would fully charge the battery now. Okay, 14.8 volt. And the current can be 2.16 amps. Ah, it doesn't take more. It's probably already full. Well, this is a 7.2 ampere hour battery. I would charge this one only with about 700 milliamps actually. So 2.1 must be the initial current it can take. So if we set this one to around 700. I really wish the range of these two buttons would be a bit wider. Can we go down now? See, we cannot go down and now we are under 700. So it takes a bit of time to actually set this correctly up. Okay, there we go. 
13.8 volts now so we should see the voltage actually rising now once the battery charges we are on constant uh, constant current now and once we hit the 14.8 volt we said before the green light turns on and then the current will taper off yeah well what can i say overall not too bad oh it has actually a fan here i didn't see that before well this one hasn't kicked in yet well the four buttons are not the best to adjust voltage and amps here it is all right it is workable but not ideal and these flimsy terminals here i don't like them i probably replace them with some little bit bigger banana plugs or something well apart from that that's my short experience now with the um vent vent tech vent tech kps 65 df dc power supply 0 to 60 volt and 0 to 5 amps 80 dollars including shipping well the shipping of this little guy took about three months to get here i could see it in the tracking history all the time it was sitting in china and awaiting pickup 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 there are only limited flights now from china to australia here and everything takes super super long via airplane all right i actually made some space here on the computer for the new power supply but um, yeah this one is so tiny it can sit anywhere yeah have a look <laughs> this is how big the computer is and this is how small the power supply is so i don't think this needs to sit here on top of it it can just sit anywhere and then i just quickly grab it connect it adjust the buttons and off we go charging batteries agm lithium iron or lithium iron phosphate batteries all right if you're interested link is down below as always so just in case you are in the market for a power supply this one will do it all right guys as always thank you so much for watching thanks for all your support here on the channel stay charged stay safe be nice and we shall see us again in the next video coming out very soon see you then bye bye